Today, I want to do a comparison to help you guys decide whether or not a Thunderbolt 4 or a Thunderbolt 5 is right for your build, your setup. Let's get into the video. I have two packages here, one from Caljet with a TS5 Plus, and I have one from Ivanki with a Fusion Dot Max. One. This is an actual sponsored video that uh, Ivanka has actually sent me this product, but Cal Digit was actually purchased with my own money. Let's get into the unboxing and see what's actually inside. Let's go. So this is actually what's inside the, the boxes. And as you can see, you have the cartridges on this side and you have the Ivanka on this side. So let me start with the Ivanka first. You do have your HDMI cable here. You also have your power brick you also have your cable that attaches to your wall outlet or whatever you're going to be using and you also have your thunderbolt uh, 4 cable um, and then you have these little tie straps you also have your pamphlets over here over here we have your your cable you have your power brick which is a lot bigger than this or should i say a lot wider you have the actual unit here you do have your thunderbolt 5 uh, cable you have your two pamphlets and you have these uh, rubber feet right here um, that's going to help you with grips and stuff like that. All right, so what I want to do now is just to kind of go through each of the devices in terms of just explaining what the ports are. And I would actually put some diagrams on the screen so that you guys can actually see what is actually going on. Okay, so what I'll do is just to make the space a little bit cleaner, I'm just going to put these to the side for now. All right, so we have the two units here, and each of these units, they do uh, have 20 ports, all right? Why am I doing this comparison? So I'm trying to see, or rather try to help anyone to decide whether or not they would like to go for the Caldera, which is a Thunderbolt 5, which is very brand new, because these are very hard to get right now, guys. It took me a while to actually get my hands on this, and I finally got it, because I was waiting so I can do this comparison for you guys. Also, um, this is actually available on um, Amazon right now if you want to go and get it. Um, so what I'll do is, I definitely want to do a speed test for each of these guys and then actually, you know, help you guys to decide and see whether or not you want to choose going with the Thunderbolt 4 versus going with the Thunderbolt 5. And the price difference might be a factor for a lot of you guys out there that might help you to determine whether or not you want to get this or not. I'll put the price on the screen over here for each of these so you guys can actually see. And then you can, you know, make your choice from there. But, you know, I think these are two wonderful um, units to have and they will definitely provide enough output for you because as you know with mac you don't get a lot of um uh, ports on your mac and this is definitely going to help you for persons who want to either do a multiple multiple monitor setup or you want to have different attachments like uh, external hard drives and other devices to be connected you can actually use a lot of these ports as well to charge either your laptop your cell phone so forth and so on so you're, you're going to be pretty much covered uh, with these two devices. So what I want to do now guys is I want to move from here and head over to my desktop Let's get into it. All right So here I am back at my desk guys And so uh, I have the two units here and what I want to do is I want to do some speed tests for you guys So guys you can actually see the speed test and see whether or not is it worth the update to the uh, Thunderbolt 5 for me it is because I, I try to future-proof my um my setup on my desk at all times so i'm definitely going to be using the thunderbolt 5 but for the thunderbolt 4 for anyone out there who a doesn't probably want to spend that amount of money and b you know you don't necessarily looking for you know really high speeds because the thunderbolt 4 offers a 40 gigabit uh per second speed while the thunderbolt 5 offers a 80 gigabits uh, per second so those are factors that you would have to decide for yourself whether or not it's a good option for you all right so what i'll do is i'll do some really quick uh, speed tests so what i'll do is firstly the one thing i really like about both of these is that they do come with rubber grommets as you can see here right um they do come with some rubber grommets that you can actually use to help you to kind of stationize your your device whether you're going to be having it on your desk you know so what, I, what i'm going to actually show you is one i'll show you the cal digit and let me just uh so you have these grooves right here 
And with this grommet, so I'm gonna just take these off. With these little legs right here, you literally, all you do is within each of these grooves, you can actually just slide it in and put it like that, both on this side, and if you want it to actually stand up, you can do it in the grooves on this side right here. So those are a really good thing for you to have. The only thing I would say differently with the Ivanki <clears throat> is that these, you have to actually paste it onto it, and I really don't like that. Um, I wish there was an option for me to take off, remove whenever I need to. So in other words, when you put this on, it is always going to be there. And I really don't like that. All right, so let's just move on. This is just me nitpicking on something. So what I'll do now is, uh, first I'll just start with the speed test for the Avanki, and then I'll go from there. So what I'll do is I'll use my trusty SD from um, SanDisk. And this is, like I said, I want my, this is my one terabyte. Uh, let me see, what is it? One, two terabytes. All right, so first, let me just connect it, and then I'm going to just show you guys the speeds and see what it's like. All right, so I'm just gonna plug it in. All right, so what we'll do is, I'm just testing this front post of the, the 10 gig. So here we have my setup right here, no guys. So I have a folder here that I'm just gonna show you the info inside. These are, this is just 39.91 gigabytes of file size. I'm gonna transfer this to the uh, connection on the Vanki, which we have actually set up. I have a little timer here, and I also have a little thing here that is gonna show you the actual speed of it going through. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna drag and drop. Let me just do a copy instead of a drag and drop. So let's do copy, paste, and let's start. So if we go to disk, we can actually see what is actually happening here. And it's doing a read of about uh, 500 megabits per second and a write up I'm pretty much about the same. All right, so we did about one minute, maybe 13. I kind of forget to press the, the stop button right there, but it's pretty decent, okay? for Like I said, for what it is, it is pretty decent. So what I'll do, I'll just reset this and then I will just erase this, put it to the trash, empty that, and then now what I'll do is I'll eject this from the fan key and then connect the Cal digit over here. So I'm gonna just eject that. All right, so now that that is ejected, I will now connect to the Cal digit over here. So now that that is connected, let me just open this real quick and get inside. So we do have the test folder right here. And like I mentioned before, this is coming from my main hard drive on my desktop, okay? And I'm just gonna copy it over. So let's do copy. So we did, like I said, one minute 30, one minute and 13. So just paste that and see and start. I honestly think that we're supposed to get comparable speed, which is supposed to be about the same. So I'm just doing it so you guys can actually see for yourselves. So I'm looking on this over here, I'm getting about 800 on the right per second, and I'm getting about 400. On the read section, sorry, I'm getting about 800 megabits per second. On the right side, I'm getting five, between five and four megabits per second, and it's going pretty fast. So we're up to 44 seconds right now, and it's pretty much almost at the end. So that's pretty good. So now the speeds has actually dropped. It's dropped down now. So we did 119 on here. So I don't know what that is, but it's saying that's a little bit faster on the Vanki. Let me know if I'm um, I'm incorrect on the in the comment section below. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna connect a Thunderbolt 5, so at least we can see what the Thunderbolt 5 speeds are. I do have a cable here, so I'm just gonna connect it to the, the Ivanki, and then now uh, we're gonna do some speed tests with that and see how that goes. All right, so let me just disconnect this. All right, so I'm, I don't have a Thunderbolt 4 cable, guys, so I plugged in my Thunderbolt 5 uh, cable into it because it actually is backwards compatible. So you can use either Thunderbolt 3, you can connect to a Thunderbolt 3 or a Thunderbolt 4 uh, device and it still works optimally. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open this folder here and all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to transfer this same folder over. Let me just do a copy. Let's reset that timer. So now I'm transferring from the main hard drive, which is on the Mac Studio to the Thunderbolt, um, this new drive over here. 
So all I'm gonna do is say copy, paste, and then restart. And you can see here we're getting 2.9 gigabits per second and it's pretty much done. So I would say 15 seconds, I was a little bit quick on the trigger right there. So I would say around 15 seconds that took, that is pretty fast. All right, so let's go over now to the Thunderbolt 5. Let's just move this to the trash. And then we're gonna eject this from there. Okay. So now we are connected to the CalDigit, all right? And as you know, we're using the Thunderbolt 5. So I'm just gonna copy this again. Say copy. Let's reset this. I'm gonna say paste and start. So now we're getting in the four regions now. And we're done. So that, I think that was done about eight seconds. So you can see that it's pretty fast, but is it extremely faster than the Vanky? No. So this is one of the things I was actually saying to you guys that the speeds, yes, is definitely going to be faster, but is it going to be extremely faster than the Thunderbolt 4? And my answer to that is no. So do you necessarily have to spend that big money in order to get the CalDigit? You do not have to. If you're someone that is not transferring a lot of large files, I think the Ivanki is a perfect choice. If you're someone who does do a lot of large files and stuff like that, then, then definitely you're gonna want a Calgit. And also, if you do have a newer unit, if you purchase the Mac Mini or the Mac Studio, or the Mac Ultra, those have the Thunderbolt 5 ports and definitely will make use of that. So I would suggest if you're in one of those persons in that category, then yes, you can definitely jump and go for the Cal Digit. But I will definitely say if you're someone that you're not and you're just a, maybe a relatively casual user but you just want more ports for yourself, I would definitely say go with the Vanky and you will not lose out on anything much. And the prices are pretty significant between either of them. I think one of them is between uh, five and the other one is about two, maybe almost $300. So you're going to be saving around $200 difference there. So I think if you really want to save some money and not spend too much, go for the Vanky. If you want to, actually, if you don't really care too much about the money side of things, then go for the Cal Digit. But that is really my feedback, guys, as to how I think this thing will be beneficial to anyone out there who is a content creator, videographer, photographer, whatever it is. Um, I think either of these units would be perfect for you, but it's a case by case basis whether or not your needs is for a Thunderbolt 5 or your needs are going for more of the Thunderbolt 4. Both units I think are fantastic. The build quality on each of them is pretty good and you cannot go wrong with either choice, guys. Whether you go with the Cal Digit or the Ivanki, I think you're not gonna go wrong, guys. So that has been my quick comparison for you guys to give you a, an, an idea or an option for yourself to say, hey, do I need to get the Ivanki or do I need to get the Cal Digit TS, um, TS5? And that is pretty much it, guys. So I wanna thank um, Ivanki for sending the unit over to me to do this, um, this test. And I think, you know, they really have a really fantastic unit and I'm sure whenever they decide to go to Thunderbolt 5, it's gonna be really good as well. All right, guys, so I just wanna say thank you for taking the time out to just watch this uh, quick video over here. And if you guys have enjoyed this video, smash that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, subscribe for more. And I think this video over here will be something interesting to you. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.